And the pathetic thing is, I manipulated all of you. I trolled all of you. And you did whatever I said because you're all wannabes. Nothing against the Sony fan base, but I'm happy some people have common sense here. I mean, seriously. Really? You really thought I was going to buy a PlayStation 4 bundled with Destiny? A 30 frame per second, repetitive game where the field of view looks like you have a fishbowl over your head. Look at all the comments, people. Case in point, you care what I do, you care how I spend my money, my purchases, and my life can both make you happy or sad. But how do you not see such an obvious trap? Nova Phoenix saw it, Hard 8 saw it, I mean, look at how I was speaking. How I was a complete parody of you corporate slaves, and yet regardless of logic, some of you people are so simply desperate to hear what you want to hear. You might as well accept the fact that I control the majority of your actions here on YouTube. I look at most of the comments here and they're laughable. They amuse me. I laugh because you amuse me. I mean, where is the foundation for most of your claims? Your only sad salvation is waiting year after year, hoping, praying, desperately that I buy a PlayStation 4, that I buy a Wii U, that I buy an Xbox One. It's like you have an obsession with being wrong. But you know, I am happy to see not all of you are idiots, some of you are actually perfectly logical and pretty factual in the comments you posted about how that last video couldn't be true and why it wasn't true. Others, well, you hate on an average game in Destiny, and yet it has a higher Metacritic score than your oh so fabled Hyrule Warriors. It's sad. It's sad to see that I confirmed what I thought before even uploading that video that it doesn't matter what I say, it doesn't matter what anybody else says, it matters who you play cheerleader for. Right is right, or wrong is wrong, Nintendo fans will agree with Nintendo fans, Sony will agree with Sony, you get the idea. You people can't think, you cannot think for yourselves. One second you hate me, and the next second you will be my best friend because I have a PlayStation 4, or you think I have a PlayStation 4. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's not my PlayStation 4. That's my friend's PlayStation 4. Don't believe me? Look at my PlayStation Network ID. I haven't touched that thing in about two or three years, whenever the last time it was that I played BG and Street Fighter and mopped the floor with them 10 to nothing in a 10 straight set. So for all you morons complaining about how I'm a hypocrite, how I said I would never play a 30 frames per second game, how games at 30 frames per second are unplayable, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so you can shut the hell up now. If I want to play Bloodborne, then I can borrow Bloodborne from a friend. Yes, people, friends. That's something you social rejects don't have. Same with Zelda, same with Xenoblade, whatever I want to play. If I really want to play it, I can always borrow it from a friend. I don't need a console. I don't see the point in investing in a console. And if I'm going to invest hundreds into something, hundreds into some kind of gaming hardware, you can best believe it's going to 4K resolutions and gaming grade hardware that can play games in 4K resolutions. For a gamer like me, the era of consoles is over. And unless a bucket load of fighting games come out or a bucket load of Japanese RPGs come out that aren't available on PC, that isn't changing anytime soon.